Welcome to Pantech e-learning. Digital learning is simplified with happy e-learning. Now I am going to explain the hardware project based on power electronics. I am going to explain asymmetrical 17 level inverter topology with reduced number of devices. This project is based on IEEE paper presentation. This project is based on IEEE paper transaction. For more information about this project and simulation files, check the description box below. Contact number and email ID is available in the description box. This is the abstract for this project. In this project, an improved asymmetrical multi-level inverter topology is proposed. Producing 17 levels output voltage by utilizing two DC sources. The circuit is developed to reduce the number of isolated DC sources used without reducing output levels. The circuit consists of two the circuit consists of six two quarter switches and three four quarter switches and four number of capacitors. This is the block diagram for the upcoming project. And in this project, we are using Arduino as the controller. For Arduino, we are giving 5 volt power supply. We can give power supply by using mobile adapter or laptop. Here, Arduino will act as the pulse generator. Pulse from the Arduino is given to TLP250 driver board. For for TLP250 driver board, we need 12 volt power supply. For that, we are using 12 volt step down transformer. And here, for the main circuit, we will use two transformer, B1 and B2. We should use the power supply as 3 is to 1 ratio. B1 should be 3 and B2 should be 6. 3 is to 1 ratio. According to that, we can apply any of the voltage and that voltage is given to the main circuit and from the DLP250 driver board amplified pulse is given to the MOSFET which is on main circuit That's, that means 17 level circuit and across the 17 level inverter we will place on load resistor across that load resistor we can see the 17 level output by using CRO or DSO and this is the Arduino we are using in this project you can learn about Arduino deeply by visiting our site by using these two links next TLP250 driver unit this is the circuit for TLP250 driver board and the driver board is mainly used to Isolate and amplify the pulse which is given from the controller that are fed to the ma that is fed to the power devices like MOSFET or IGBT, anything else. Arduino, normally a pulse generator, the controller will produce 3.32 5 volt pulse, which is not enough to operate the MOSFET devices. For that, we are using this TLP250 driver unit which is used to amplify the voltage up to 12 to 15 volt with the same frequency and same duty ratio and this TLP250 unit has gate production also this is the image for TLP250 driver board this is the TLP250 driver IC and here we can see this yellow color arrow this is the pulse which is given from the controller we can able to see it was around 5 volt and this is the pulse which is amplified by TLP250 driver board it was around 15 volt this, these pulses are given to the MOSFET devices we can see the pulse clearly the pulse voltage will be around 5 volt in this it will be around 15 volt this is the main circuit for asymmetrical 17 level inverter. Here, already I told we are using 
two inputs that was in 3 is to 1 ratio say V1 it will be in 18 volt and V2 is in 6 volt here these are the MOSFETs and these are the 3 quadrant MOSFET 4 quadrant MOSFET this M1, M2 and M6 are the 4 quadrant devices and remaining M4, M3, M7, M5, M9 and M8 are the 2 quadrant MOSFET this is the switching pattern for the 17 level inverter here according to this mode the circuit will be operated and the output is produced here the 0 is the off state and 1 is the on state according to this the levels are produced now we can see the operating modes here in the mode 1 S1 S2 we are using 9 MOSFETs that are mentioned here as S1 S2 here we are using 9 MOSFETs they are mentioned as S1 S2 up to S9 here for the first mode of operation we can able to see for the 0, 0 volt 0 level switch 4 switch 7 and switch 9 is on we can able to see this circuit here S4 S7 and S9 along these three devices are on at that time it will produce the 0 level and in the mode 2 S1 S6 and S9 is on it's clearly mentioned on the circuit diagram S4 S6 and S9 these three devices are on at that time we will get the second level in the third mode we can able to see S4 S5 and S9 is on here S4 S5 and S9 at that time the voltage level will be varied in the mode 4 we can able to see S2 S7 and S8 here S2 S7 and S8 3 devices are on like this for all modes the voltage level will be increased and this is the main hardware image total hardware image here according to block diagram we have connected the 12 volt step down transformer to power up this TLP250 driver board and from the Arduino controller the pulse is given to TLP250 driver board by using this RMC cables and here we are using two transformer and one is 18 volt and another one is 6 volt we can able to see there are two inputs one is 6 volt and one is 18 volt now we can see the working of this hardware this is the main hardware for 17 level inverter by using Arduino this is the main circuit and this is the TLP250 driver unit which is used to amplify and isolate and the controller Arduino which is used to generate pulses 12 volt step down transformer which is used to power up the TLP250 driver board and step down AC transformer for main circuit and one is 6 volt and another one is 18 volt for this circuit we need two input voltages one is 6 volt and another one is 18 volt primary input should be greater than 3 times than secondary voltage now I am going to turn on the Arduino now the pulse is given from Arduino to the TLP250 driver board from the Arduino the pulse is generated around 3.3 volt to 5 volt which is not enough to switch on the MOSFET devices like IRF 840 this driver unit is used to isolate and amplify the pulse and given to this MOSFET now I am going to turn on the TLP driver unit power supply
Now we can see the amplified pulse across the diode. Now we can able to see the pulse which is around 15 volt. Now I am going to turn on this 6 volt and 18 volt step down AC transformer for this main circuit. Before that, I will connect the multimeter probe. Before that, I will connect the DSO probe across the load resistor to see the output. Now we can see that output by using DSO or CRO here we can able to see this is the output for 17 level inverter here we can see the 17 levels and this is the final output for the 17 level inverter we can able to see the 17 levels 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. According to this, we can provide how many levels we needed. And for the same projects, we have simulation or MATLAB simulation also. Specification For doing this project, we need Arduino Uno. TLP250 driver board and 12 volt step down transformer for driver board and 6 volt and 18 volt trans step down transformer for main circuit and we will use 5 volt 5 watts load resistor to measure the load and we will provide do it yourself package also and here we will provide do it yourself package also in this package, it consists of one Arduino, project coding, TLP250 driver board according to our need, 12 volt step down transformer required numbers, and 6 volt and 18 volt step down transformer for main circuit, 2 pin power guard, GP board that is general purpose board. IRF840 is the MOSFET device we are using here. Instead of this IRF840, we can use IRF460, IRF250, like that. Various devices are there. We can use whatever we need. And bridge rectifier capacitor. And 5 watts load resistor. And we will provide the guidance up to 2 hours. For testing these projects, we need multimeter, CRO or DSO, and soldering end. Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe our channel and get the new information we will update daily. For more information about this project and simulation files, check the description box given below. Contact number, mobile ID and our company site are provided there. And we are providing the free courses, training programs, hardware projects, simulation projects, etc. And these are all things available in our Pantech e-learning site. And once again, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our channel.